The Bears have re-signed Michael Schofield and released the injury report for this weekend's game versus Green Bay. What up guys, Swifty here covering everything Chicago Bears. Let's get right into it. Valus Jones Jr. has returned to practice. He was limited today and yesterday. The only other player on the injury report was Riley Reef, who was also limited with a shoulder designation. It's great to see Valus back at practice, I would love to see him returning kicks at Lambeau Field this weekend. It would be great to see yet another rookie make an impact on this team. Our rookie class has performed lights out, and any contribution from Valus Jones Jr. is just an added bonus. I think the coaching staff has a set of plays to get him involved on offense, and he brings a dynamic X factor to the return game. I would love to see Darnell Mooney and Valus Jones get a shot versus the Green Bay secondary. The secondary was expected to be very good, but had an awful game versus Justin Jefferson and the Vikings last week. They should be more prepared this weekend. Now some roster news. The Bears have placed new offensive lineman Alex Leatherwood on the non-football illness list. He will be out a minimum of four weeks. To take his spot on the roster, we have re-signed Michael Schofield. Most of you remember we signed him before camp, but he was one of the last players released. This move doesn't surprise me too much. In my opinion, Leatherwood wasn't ready to play anyway. Schofield provides valuable depth on the interior of our line. He shouldn't play unless one or two guys get injured, but is a solid veteran backup. I love Alex Leatherwood's potential, but I have said all along I think he would benefit greatly from some time with the position coaches working on his technique. The reports from Twitter are that Leatherwood has mono, so nothing serious here, just something where he can't play for at least four weeks now. One thing about Leatherwood's game that intrigues me the most is his run blocking. The coaching staff noticed it too. I think he could have been inserted in short yardage and goal line situations just fine, but for the betterment of his long-term future here, I think the best course of action is to take it slow with Leatherwood this season, spend an entire offseason working on his pass block technique, and then you groom him to play left guard next season or maybe even be a swing tackle. Either way, I think it's best for Leatherwood to rework on his pass blocking technique before we insert him into the lineup. We still have a 52-man roster with an extra spot. I don't know if the new regime likes to keep a spot open or if they are looking for another player. Maybe they like that flexibility going into Sunday. It'll be something interesting to watch going forward. I should have my All-22 breakdown out tonight. And then tomorrow night, I will have my Bears vs. Packers preview. And then I have some other videos coming this weekend as well. Stay tuned. Hit that like button for me, guys. And until next time, Bear Down!